Every year, close to 1.5 million babies are born in Uganda. However, what you may find intriguing is that close to 80% of those children are not planned and at times are unwanted. Unintended pregnancies have brought a public health concern in both developed and developing countries because of their association with adverse social, health and economic outcomes for both mothers and their children. But to avert this, Health experts encourage couples to make it a point to plan for pregnancy, a concept referred to as preconception counseling. Dr. Joseph Nsenga is a gynecologist with Bethany Hospital and explains the concept. So we advise uh, if you're planning to have a baby, and which is, should be the norm, people should get babies not by chance but by choice. Uh, if you plan properly and you talk to your physician or your gynecologist, you can work up together what should be done. For instance, uh, those who are at risk of uh, abnormal conditions like Down syndrome, where babies are born with some gross abnormalities, you can advise them to have some medication before. I think you've heard of babies who are born with uh, what we call uh, renal tubo, uh, neural tubal defects, whereby they have big head, spinal cord issues, they have issues in the back. Yeah. It has been shown, evidence shows that if you take folic acid three months before conception, the chance of getting a baby with that defect is limited almost to zero percent. So you find that if you take folic acid beforehand, you avoid uh, such outcomes. Just that's an example, taking folic acid uh, three months before conception and also throughout conception. You, you get babies who have no most, because we know the formation of such organs like the brain, the spinal cord, they need folic acid as their building block. So once you have enough folic acid, you avoid babies with such anomalies because we know deficiency of folic acid leads to formation of neurotubal defects and many other abnormalities. For instance, uh, we give uh, folic acid, we give uh, other molecules, like if you give calcium or what we call the natural vitamin E, e nut, you can help mothers who are at risk of getting uh, hypertension and pregnancy to have a normal pregnancy. From the counseling that couple receives, Dr. Nsenga says they are able to determine whether or not they can proceed to have a baby. And once it is established that they can proceed to have a child, then they are advised to conduct further medical tests, receive advice on nutrition and any other medical support to reduce the chances of complications. If you've been somebody who is into alcohol, you were a chain smoker, you were, you were in two clubs, you're all over the place, you know this is going to be a different lifestyle altogether. So, you know, alcohol is going to affect the baby. You know, smoking has also an impact on the conception process. Babies are born with issues. If you've been on some medication, chronic medication, like for maybe these rare conditions, you've been taking this medicine every day, and this medicine is not uh, safe in the pregnancy, you have to be informed. Uh, either you switch or you stop. From a mother's perspective, Edith Sifuna, a mother and program officer at the Center for Health, Human Rights and Development says the counseling is crucial to enlighten the couple on other challenges or changes that may occur due to pregnancy. Pregnancy comes with so many demands. I'll change my diet. I want to eat this in the next minute. I don't want to eat that in the next minute. I don't want you to be near me. So, so many things happen around us when we are pregnant. So I, we need that understanding, we need that support from this person to help me go through the pregnancy. Because now if I'm going through that, and then there is um, no, uh, no psychosocial support, sometimes it may even cause me maybe to have a miscarriage because I'm always stressed. And out of that stress, sometimes the men become violent. They cannot stand what their women are going through because they don't understand, some of them do not understand that these changes will happen to this woman. She says it also encourages better planning regarding the time of birth. If we bought all the requirements that we need, we need to have some money that we keep aside, that in case there is an eventuality that happens, what do we do? Because I may be um, uh, a, normal, uh, a normal delivery mom, but time can come and I'll need a C-section. So what will happen if we have not prepared well, if we have not put some money 
aside. Then after giving birth, how do we take care of that, that period? Now we are three people in this, in this home. We need to feed. There is a lot that happens there. A number of studies conducted across the country point to several reasons for unintended or unwanted pregnancies, including lack of knowledge on ovulation period, discontinuation of contraceptives, non-use of and intention for contraceptives, high age at sexual debut, high age at first birth. So for those who are ready to conceive, we can ask them to be intimate in the fertile window. Usually it's about day 10 to day 16 of the cycle. Uh, those who are not ready and they want to conceive when they want, we can tell them three months before as they prepare for pregnancy, they utilize the safe days. So it's important for women and their husbands to know what we call the menstrual cycle because it gives us information on safe days and fertile, fertile days. So this alone can help mothers. I know it's not 100% effective, but if you use it very well, you have some degree of knowing when to conceive, such as you conceive by choice, not by chance. The effect directly contributes to the maternal and newborn mortality rates, currently estimated at 228 mothers per 100,000 live births and 52 under fives per 1,000 live births consecutively. Walter Mwesije, NTV. <music>